Let me check. Hello, hello, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening. Welcome to this English class on this day, which is the youth day. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Um, this is class number 10. As you may know, um, and we will continue learning on this English class. Okay, so it's nice to have you. I wish everybody is okay at home, healthy, and staying alive. We're going to have, again, section number four, and we're going to have, like, this topic, which is, do you like rap? We're going to work a little bit with yes and no, double-edged questions we do. So, again, we're we'll working with simple present and Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Okay, we're going to work on this one today. Section number two, uh, double-edged questions we do. Do is about simple present tense, right? Like, do you play soccer? Do you cook at home? Do you study every day? Do you work on Saturdays? Do you like pupusas? Everything that goes with something related to simple present, we're going to use do. Okay? So do is like pretty much something really big. ¿Sí? Tú tiene que aprenderse esto del simple present porque esta cosa le sirve every single day. Todos los días. You use that. Right? Yes? Every time you speak, every day, you're going to use something that is called simple present. Right? Or also, when we say, what is your daily routine? What do you do in the morning? What do you do in the afternoon? What do you do in the evening? Right? Things like that, for things like that, we use the present, the present simple, which is do. And over there, we use the bunch of words that we have available for simple present. Right? Every, each of you, each of you has a different routine, right? So, um, and the idea is that you, are able to say what is your daily routine according to your context, right? According to the way you live. So um, Ernesto's routine could be different, right? ¿Sí? La rutina de Ernesto, pues, es diferente a la que hace a Lucia. Yeah, so it's, it's totally different, right? And the idea is you, usted se conozca esos verbos que siempre usted hace, que son relacionados a las things, a las cosas que usted hace every single day. Right? Desde el momento en que se levanta hasta el momento en que se acuesta. Yes? Todos esos verbos usted tiene que saberlos. Cómo se dicen y cómo se escriben. Right? Yes? Ahora, el simple present es, como le digo, es la clave. ¿Por qué la clave? Porque después vamos con el pasado. Después vamos con el future. Vamos con el present perfect. Y vamos a utilizar esos mismos verbos that we know. About daily routine, vamos a utilizarlo en different contextos, right? Yeah. So my recommendation is you, by aprendiéndose esos verbos, about daily routine, because those things are key. Son clave for your, like, um, learning process, right? Yes. ¿Qué es lo que hace in the morning, right? Cuando usted llega al trabajo, what do you do in the morning? ¿Cuáles son esos verbos? that goes with the activities that you do at the work, yeah? ¿Cuáles son esos verbos that goes with the activities that you do in the afternoon? Ahí es donde tenemos esta beautiful thing that is called simple present. Okay? So, this thing is the one we are going to work today. For example, if I ask you, Laura Molina, what do you do in the morning? <laughs> I am working. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Laura. En ese contexto, usted tiene que darme una, una, una respuesta amplia, right? La pregunta es, what do you do in the morning? ¿Qué hace? Pues usted tiene que decirme, oh, uh, mister, uh, I do different things. I do different things, right? For example, in the morning, I wake up at 5 a.m. Then um, I take a shower. After that, I have breakfast, I brush my teeth, okay, I get dressed, I prepare uh, my lunchbox, right, with the food, and then I take the bus to go to work, 
Yes, I get um, to my job, right? I get to work at 8 a.m. in the morning. And at work, I turn on my computer and I, I don't know, check emails, I, um, I don't know, make calls. And sometimes I have a coffee at 10 a.m. in the morning. Yes, that is my daily activity in the morning. Entonces, todos esos verbos que mencioné, you, you, each of you, you should know those verbs. You know what I mean? Tiene que saber esos, esos, esos verbos que utilizamos. Why? ¿Por qué? Porque esos mismos va a ver usted en el futuro, los va a ver en el pasado y los va a ver en present perfect. Right? Yes. Entonces, um, sí pedirle que despacio, despacio vaya aprendiéndose, por lo menos en el día, digamos. Oh, hoy me voy a aprender estos cinco verbos de mi rutina. Y es, usted los anota, ¿sí? O se los anota en la mano y los anda leyendo. Oh, ok. Uh, wake up, take a shower, have breakfast, eh, drive to work, or take the bus. Y es. Luego tenemos at noon. At noon hacemos different things, right? Entonces, sí le recomiendo uh, just, just get into those verbs para que vaya pues uh, agarrando confianza. Yes, agarrando confianza. El simple present, people, es la clave para los verbos, right? How do we learn this thing? By using those verbs. Use the verbs, you know what I mean? Por ejemplo, ¿cómo se dice peinarse, Dalila, en inglés? How do you say peinarse? Something that you do every day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok. O cómo se dice, por ejemplo, Carla, ¿cómo se dice escuchar música? En inglés. Si usted escucha Bad Bunny, I don't know, Los Tigres del Norte, how do you say, how do you say, how do you say escuchar música? Mm -hmm. Sí. Usted tendría que saber cómo se dice eso. You know what I mean? Yes. Sería listening, ¿no? Music. Listen, listen to music, listen to music, right? Yes, listen to music, right? Si usted le cocina a su esposo, right? Usted le cocina a su esposo, yeah? O a su esposa, digamos, o a su esposa, right, Edgar? Si usted le cocina a su esposa, entonces, ¿cómo dice cocino, right? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo dice yo cocino? Mm -hmm. Ernesto? I cooking now. Excuse me? Uh, I cooking. Oh, I cooking now. Okay, so tenemos I cook, I cook. Yes, I cook. I cook dinner for my wife. I cook dinner for my wife. Okay. Yes, I cook. Tenemos diferentes formas, por eso le digo. La clave está con el simple present. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo es cook. Yes. Ese es el verbo. Cocinar. I cook dinner. I cook lunch. And I could breakfast. Ahora, usted me dijo cooking, ok, which is something else. Ok. No. Precocinar, pero es otra cosa. Okay. Sí. Ya, yeah. so, este es el simple present. Y yo puedo decir, Dalila cooks. Dalila cooks. Ok. Good breakfast. Right, miren, aquí tengo otra cosa. Yes. Es lo mismo, pero le agrego algo gramática. Ok, igual vamos a ir viendo esto. Like, ustedes lo van a ir viendo en los diferentes módulos, right? En los diferentes módulos que you will have in this, in this process. Y, y le pido que le ponga, like, a lot of attention a esto, a los verbos. Apréndase los verbos porque eso es clave, clave. You know what I mean? Así como se aprende el verbo to be, verbo to be, right? Que ya se lo aprendió, ya se lo sabe, excelente. So, los verbos son la, la next step. Tengo buenas noches. Oh, Claudia, thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Uh, Lucia, okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, I will take the attendance right now. Just give me a minute. Um, Alison, Daniela? Alison? No? Okay. Oh, he's here. Alison, let me check. Alison. Uh, let me check Alison here. Uh, yes, thank you, Alison. 
Thank you so much for letting me know that. Okay, give me a minute. Let's see. Okay. There we go. There we go. Um, okay. Uh, Anna Samora. Present teacher. Nice to have you, Anna. Welcome. Andrea Marisol Represa. Good evening, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Um, Andrea Vanessa Landos. Present. Thank you so much. Um, Barbara Cabrera. Barbara Cabrera? No? Okay. Uh, let's continue with Brenda. Brenda Castro? No, Brenda? Brenda? No, Brenda, today? Okay. Um, let's continue with Carolina del Carmen Perez. Present teacher. Nice to have you one more time, Carolina. Uh, Claudia Lopez. Hello, Claudia. Hello, present, mister. Nice to have you one more time. Cristina America Monge. Hello, Cristina. Are you here? No? Okay, let's continue with you, Daniela Asensio. Hello, Daniela. Hello, present. Welcome. Um, Edgar Portillo. Is he... Okay. Leslie. Okay, Leslie. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know, Leslie. Give me a minute because, I mean, I have a lot of students here. Um, Edgar, you're not here, Edgar? Check. Edgar, let me check. Ed, yeah, Edgar is here, but he doesn't. I think he's probably having some problems. Okay, Edgar. Um, Ernesto, you're here, right, Ernesto? Yes, Mr. I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, Griselda Moreno. Hello, Griselda. I'm here, teacher. My pleasure. Nice to have you. Ivania Mendoza. Hello, Ivania. No? Okay, let's continue. Let me share the next one. It's going to be Jennifer Torres. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer? No? Okay, she's absent. Okay. Um, Jennifer Moss. Hello, Jennifer Moss. No? Uh, Jennifer Marroquin. Jennifer Marroquin. Jocelyn Mancia. I'm here, teacher. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Karen Garcia. Hello, Karen. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Colocho. Hello, Carla. I'm here, teacher. Welcome. I'm here. Laura Molina. Thank you. Present, teacher. My pleasure, Laura. Leslie, you're here, right? Leslie, you're here. Present. Thank you so much, Leslie. Um, Lisbeth de Rodriguez. Hello, good evening. Thank you so much, Lisbeth. Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Here, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome, Lucia Stepeda. Present, no. teacher. Thank you, Lucia. Uh, what about Mayra Areli Mendez? Mayra, no? Okay, let's continue with Raul Reyes. Hi, Hello, here. Raul. Hi. Welcome, one more time. Dalila Barahona. Hello, Dalila. Present, teacher. Thank Hello, you. teacher. Ruth del Carmen. Hello, Ruth. Ruth, are you here? No? Okay, and what about Stephanie? Stephanie? Okay, let me check the chat. Okay, aquí tengo a Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. Leslie as well. Claudia Lopez. Okay, Lucia Cepeda. Okay, um, pues, en este. okay. Check. Thank you so much. Lopez. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, people. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this information that we have for today. We're gonna have some practice and then 
we're going to check the platform if we have the time today. So this is going to be today's agenda, as you may see on the screen. It's still working with section number two. Do you like rap? Uh, yesterday, we were talking about music, right? What is your favorite music? So uh, we are going to start with something related to that today. And we're going to have a chart here. Do you see this chart? In here, we have check the boxes to complete the survey about music and TV. We have letter A. Do you like this? Do you like these types of music? Do you like this type of music? Do you like these types of TV shows, right? We have different like a pop music and we have this kind of like, what well, is not pop music? We have different kind of music and we have different kind of TV shows, right? And then we have three things. I love it. It's okay. I don't like it. So, um, and then we have, I love them, they're okay, I don't like them, okay, yes? So this is what we have in here. I need you to check that, and then I will ask you random people so you can participate on this one. The only thing you need to do is check if you like the music or if you like the TV show according to the options that you have over there. Maybe you love it, maybe it's okay for you, or maybe you don't like it. Maybe you love them, maybe they're okay for you, or maybe you don't like them, okay? We have pop music, classical, hip hop, rock, and jazz. And then we have with TV shows in letter B, we have talk shows, reality shows, sitcoms, so operas, and we have game show, okay? If you want to participate, you can raise your hand anytime so you can have some time of participation in this, okay? If not, I will select random people so you, so you can participate in this one, okay? Yes, you got it? Okay, Elizabeth, ready? Okay, teacher. Um, uh, do you like this type of music? Pop music, I love it. Classical, I love it. Hip hop, I don't like it. Uh, rock, it's okay. Jazz, mm, I love it. And little B, do you like this type of TV shows? Mm, talk shows, I love them. Um, reality shows, they okay. Um, sitcoms, mm, I don't like him. Soap opera, I don't like him. Um, game shows, I don't like him. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your participation, Lippen. Probably good. Andrea Marisol, thank you. Okay. Um, do you like this type of music? Um, pop, I love it. Classical, eh, it's okay. <laughs> Hip hop, I love it. Rock, uh, I don't like it. And jazz, I love it. Um, and letter B, do you like this type of TV shows? Talk shows, I love them. <laughs> Reality shows, I love them. Sitcoms, I don't know what it is sitcoms, teacher. Sitcoms like, for example, Two and a Half Men, like Friends, like oh, okay. um two brothers or maybe like i don't know mom that's a sitcom okay so i love them <laughs> uh soap opera soap operas like ugly betty or los hermanos reyes right 
que son Pasión de Gavilanes, or maybe um, Teresa, right? Or uh, okay, Valora, okay, okay. things like that. I don't like them. <laughs> and game shows, eh, there's okay. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for your participation. Great job. Okay. Carla, thank you. You're next. Did you like this type of music? Pop, a lot of classical, I don't like it. Hip hop is okay. Rock, I love it. Jazz, I don't like it. <clears throat> Did you like this high of TV shows? Top shows, they're okay. Reality shows, I love them. Sitcoms, I love them. Swap operas, I love them. Gap shows, they're okay. What is your favorite soap opera? What is your favorite soap opera, Carla? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite soap opera? My favorite soap opera is Pasión de Gavilán. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like the new one or the old version? The new one or the old version? La nueva versión o la old version? Carla? Uh, the new version. Oh, the new one. Oh, okay. That's very good. Claudia Hisel, you're next. Thank you so much. Um, little eight, do you like these types of music? Uh, pop, I love it. Uh, classical, I love it. Hip hop, I don't like uh, rock. It's okay. In jazz, um, it's okay. A little B, do you like? These types of TV shows, um, tal shows, there's okay. Reality shows, I love them. It sitcoms, I don't like them. Uh, soap operas, there's okay. And I game shows, um, there's okay. Wonderful, right? Thank you so much. Reality shows. Reality shows. But how are you, uh, Raul? Thank you so much. Do you like this type of music? Pop, it's okay. Classical, I love it. Hip hop, I don't like it. Rock, I love it. Jazz, it's okay. Do you like these types of, of TV shows? Talk shows, I love them. Reality shows, they are okay. Sitcoms, they are okay. Soap operas, I love them. Game shows, I love them. Wonderful, thank you so much. Jocelyn, Teacher, teacher, solo yes. quería, quería este, preguntarle algo acerca del literal B. Este cuando dice, I, I love them, them que no es a ellos. Exacto. Ah, mm -hmm. Pero dice, I, I love them, me incluyo yo, creo yo, ¿verdad? Uh, no, 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 no. ¿Qué dice, I love them? Yes. Mm -hmm. ah, ¿Por qué dice, I love them, si them es a ellos? Exacto. ¿Por qué dice así? Porque mire, shows, shows, sitcoms. Operas, shows. It's for the plural. Exactly. Thank you so much, Lisbeth. Entonces, como todo está plural, por eso vamos con them. Yes. Exactly, Raúl. Very good. Por eso van todas con them. I love them. I don't like them. Because it's plural. You know what I mean? Pero hay una, hay una valoración para ellos, ¿verdad? Exactly. Acuérdense que ellos pueden ser people, objects, animals, and places, right? Mm -hmm. So, in this case, we're talking about things like TV shows, right? So, we can use uh, then as well. Very good, Raul. That's a great question. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Jocelyn, you're next. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. Okay. 
Do you like dancing tips or music? It's pop, I love it. Classical, I like it. Hip hop, I like it. Rock, I don't like it. Jazz, it's, it's, it's okay. Do you like dance tips or TV shoot? Tal shows, I like them. Reality shows, there's okay. Seconds, there's okay. Soft opera, there's okay. E shows, I like them. Thank you so much. We have there, okay. Do you like these types of TV shows? Very good. Thank you so much. So this is about things that you like and things that you don't like. Like we're working with music because the title of this unit is like, do you like rap music? Maybe you don't love it. Maybe you don't like it. Or maybe that's okay for you. You don't care about it. Okay. We're going to have a little bit of the grammar context, which is this one. I will play the video, listen and watch. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes no and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. I don't like it very much. No, he doesn't. What kind of music do you like? Hey, he plays the I guitar. Like do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. What does he they love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and us? Do does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we use the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Does he play the piano? If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Okay, no sé si todos vieron bien el, el video o tuvieron algún inconveniente para verlo. Everything. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of explanation on this grammar thing, which is this one. Okay, simple present questions, short answer. Y aquí tenemos las questions word with what y a little bit of who. Okay, that's what we have in here. <laughs> Sorry, okay, so we have these three questions, right? We use do and we use does, okay? Do is with I, you, they, and we, and does is with third person, which is he, she, and it, okay? So that's the way we do it, okay? We have this short answer, yes, I do, okay, or no, I don't. Yes, she does, or no, she doesn't, however, if we want to give a compliment like this one, we can do it anytime. You know what I mean? Yeah. If we want to add more information, you can do it. If not, you can leave it like that. Okay. And then we have this typical question. What kind of music do you like? What kind of food do you like? 
I like rap. What does she play? What does she play? She plays the guitar. Cuando hacemos estas questions, acuérdense que tienen que tener un poco de cuidado en el contexto. Porque aquí, por ejemplo, en esta que está acá, tenemos, do you like country music? Y si usted me contesta, yes, I do, yo le puedo preguntar, what kind of music do you like? Y ya. Ahora, si usted me contesta, no, I don't, también le puedo preguntar, oh, ok, so what kind of music do you like? Yep. Aquí en la primera tal vez no, right? Porque si es, yes, I do, I love it, pues está ahí a la conversación. Pero si usted me contesta, do you like country music? No, I don't. I don't like it very much. Ahora yo, I need to know what kind of music do you like? So I can ask you, what kind of music do you like? Entonces, la mayoría de questions va a ir siempre relacionada al contexto que estamos hablando before. You know what I mean? So usted tiene que saber un contexto, what, what are you talking? If you notice, in here tenemos, does she play the piano? Okay. Yes, she does. Yeah. O podemos decir, no, she doesn't. Yeah. Ahora, si me contestan, no, she doesn't, yo le puedo hacer esta cuestión aquí. Uh, what does she play? What does she play, right? Porque me estoy refiriendo a, a instruments, right? A musical instruments. So I can ask her, uh, what does she play? Yeah. So you should know the context you're talking about in, in this conversation. Do they like Imagine Dragons? What is this thing? Do you know what is Imagine Dragons? Do you know what is this thing? Imagine Dragons? Uh, does anybody know what is the meaning of Imagine Dragons? Uh-huh. No, teacher. <laughs> oh my gosh. How old are you, Andrea? Excuse me. Uh, me, Andrea Represa? Yes, Andrea Represa. How old are you? Ah, uh, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, you okay. should know. You, I mean, I know who's Imagine Dragon, but I, but I need to know. Okay. Uh, no, uh, I don't know, but I'm 36. Oh, yeah. So you're like, you should know who's Imagine Dragons. It's like a uh, band. I should, <laughs> but should I don't know. <laughs> oh, they have great music. They have great, it's like a pop music, I guess, but they have great music that you can, used to learn English because it's very catchy. It's catchy. It's catchy music. Mm -hmm. So so you can you can use this kind of uh let's say uh, music from these people. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry for asking you about the, your age. Okay. Uh, that's okay teacher but Maroon 5 I know who oh you know who's Maroon 5. <laughs> Maroon 5 right yeah that's a good one like sugar that's a famous song from them. Yeah sugar okay thank you so much yeah, again, if you notice, if you notice, tenemos aquí, aquí en the top. Aquí esto que está aquí, mire, simple present. Esta cosa es beautiful, I love it, okay? Okay, ¿por qué? Porque si usted va a estar, digamos, sentado, right? En su trabajo, yeah, with your partner. Yes, y usted le puede preguntar, oh, no. do, do you like pupusas? Yeah, so it's a typical conversation, right? Oh. Oh, do you do you play soccer on the weekends, right? Or uh, do you play video games in your free time? Or uh, does your brother does your brother live in New York? Or I don't know. Uh, do you live with your parents? Or do you have a PS Five, right, um, Ernesto? Do you have a PS Five, right? A PlayStation Five. <laughs> I wish I could, right? No, okay. So typical questions like that. Okay, so this question with simple present, son para eso. So you can have a short conversation with somebody, okay, every single time, every day. And this questions word that we have here is para obtener más información, right? Más información. See? Por ejemplo, yo le pregunté a su compañera, yes? Andrea, y me, y le dije, do you know who's Imagine Dragons? No, no, I don't. I don't know who are they. Who are they? Okay. Yes. Right. So the question is like, do you like Imagine Dragons? Maybe not. No. No. Right. I don't know who are they. So 
who do you like? Who do you like? Yeah. And here we have, do they like Imagine Dragons? Who do they like? Aquí yo que le puedo preguntar, like, do you like? Do, yo lo cambio. Do you like? Do you like Imagine Dragons? No, I don't like them. Right? No, I don't. Entonces yo le, preguntar, le puedo preguntar, who do you like? Ok. Ay, aquí me le faltó esta cosa. Who do you like? Yeah. Who do you like? And she told me Maroon 5. Maroon 5, right? Yeah. This one. So this is the way we're going to use it. Aquí tenemos unos object pronouns. Ok. Estos object pronouns. Los utilizamos para pues, hablar siempre del, del, de lo que estamos refiriéndonos en la conversation. ¿Ok? Nos estamos, los utilizamos para referirnos otra vez al, a lo que estamos hablando. Yes. Yes. That's the way we use them. That's the way we use them here. For example, aquí tenemos. Then. Then. ¿Ok? Y por aquí tenemos, I do, I love it. Aquí tenemos este también, it. Okay. Entonces, sí tenemos que saber un poco el, con, el context we're talking about para que los utilicemos. ¿Y que, a qué se refiere? Pues se refiere siempre al, al mismo eh, object okay, que estamos hablando aquí. Do you like Imagine Dragons? No, I don't like them. Ok, I don't like them. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizarlos? Pues dependiendo del contexto. Hay aquí then, porque estamos hablando with something plural. As, right, cuando estamos nosotros. It, cuando es like something or animals. Her is when we talk about she or he. I'm sorry, him is with he. You is with you. And me is with I. Okay, vamos a tener practice on this one. So you can have more examples about how to use this one. Let's take a look at the following example. Let me show you a little bit. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué es esto? No, 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 no. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, please. Does it have the material here? Give me a minute. Okay, what is that thing? Sorry for that. Give me a minute. Microphone teacher. Yes, I'm just checking something here because I have the exercise in here, but this thing I don't see it. Just give me a minute. Oh, come on. Okay. Um. Okay, just give me a minute. Because I need to get the material. I think I have it here, but it's not the case. Oh, okay. Okay, this one is. Okay. Okay. No. no. This one is not the one. Um, give me a minute, please. What is that thing? Oh. It's gonna be number four. Okay, five. No, no. Oh, come on. No. No. Give me a minute. Oh, come on, thing. No, pues parece que no. Okay, this one is. Okay, this one is. I got it here. Give me a minute. 
I thought I got the material, but I don't have it. Just give me a minute and I have it ready for you. Okay. Okay, this one. Okay. Sorry for that. Here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay, so here we go. We have this like, this is the unit we're working on, which is number four. We have questions with present simple. Okay. Um, here we have the rules, as you mentioned, right? We use do, base form, yes, no question, sure, absolutely, with I, you, we and they. So do, cuando hacemos las questions, va para estos four pronouns, okay? Like this one. Do they like rock? Yes, they do. Or no, they don't. And then we use das con estos. Um, let me see. ¿Dónde está? Oh, with this one. With she, with, I'm sorry, he, she, and it. Con estos tres, we use das, okay? Ahora, we can change the name, right? So we can say, does Alicia, we can say, does Carlos, or we can say, does the dog, right? It's like you need to change, like, the names. Um, and then we have the negative. Yes, um, she or he does, or no, she doesn't. We use done from negative or doesn't, exactly, right? Don va para esto que está acá y Dasen va para esto que está acá. Yeah? Like this one. Esto no lo voy a mencionar because you don't need that. Y tenemos los subject pronouns. Okay, usually come before the verb. Entonces vamos a utilizarlos antes del verbo. Object pronouns and usually comes after the verb. Like, for example, he likes her, but she doesn't like him. Okay, entonces podemos ponerlos después del verb. If you notice here, aquí está el pronoun y aquí está el verb. Likes or like. Okay, vamos a, have, a tener un poquito de práctica on this one. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, oh, está costado. I need to delete this. Okay. Here we have some example, right? In the first exercise, we have, uh, let me see, si no lo ven, me avisen. Complete the questions with Ensure answer, right? Tenemos en parentheses, we have a verb. Okay, la mayoría son like. Watch and listen. What are we going to do? We are going to use the appropriate grammar part for the first one. Okay. Do you play a musical instrument? Yes, I do. I play the guitar. What about number two? What is in number two? Thank you so much. Carolina. Del Carmen, what is in number two, Carolina? Mm -hmm. What is in number two? Carolina? Yes. Okay, Lucia, what is in number two? What is in number two? Number two. Number two, A. Do you like Taylor Swift? Okay, no. very good. Yes, uh, that is correct. That is correct. No, I don't like it. Continue, continue. Joe doesn't like country music. Country music, very good, exactly. Great job. That's the way, right? That's the way. Lorena? Does she like to show? Yes, she likes. This is a big fan of them. Okay, one more time. Okay. And does, does she like or shows? 
Yes, she likes them. She likes them. Lisa is a big fan of them. Very good. Okay. O puede decir, yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay. You can say, yes, she does. Thank you so much. Andrea, Landos, you're next. Um, Number four. Is. Mm -hmm. Which one? Is? No, tenemos do or does. Which one is? Does. Okay, does continue. she watch the news on TV? Okay, continue. Yes, she does. She or he? Maybe. He or she? It's, oh, Kevin. He. Okay, continue. He. Kevin and I watch the news every night. Perfect. Thank you so much. Very good. Raul, continue with number five. Do you like hip hop? No, I don't, but I love R.E.B. Perfect. Thank you so much. Great job, Raúl. Andrea, Marisol, thank you. Este teacher en la cuarta donde watch es back cabal, watch or watches. Eh, no, porque son questions. Como son questions, no llevamos reglas, right? No rules. Ah. Yeah. Solo ya cuando la contesta aquí, por ejemplo, a donde está. No. Listen to it just. Yes, continue, Andrea, please. Okay, do you like listen to jazz? No, I don't like, but my parents listen to a lot of classical music. Perfect. Thank you so much. A great job. Okay. So if you notice, right, it's, it's something quite simple. It's not something big, right? For example, for example, um, um, Laura Molina. Laura Molina. Hello, teacher. Do you play soccer on Saturday, Laura? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, play soccer. Yes, I do. Very good. Yes, I do. So you can answer like that. Claudia Lopez. Claudia Lopez. Claudia Lopez. Claudia, Claudia. Isel, Córdoba, López. Present, teacher. Hi, Claudia. Hello. How are you? Hi, fine. Thank you. And you? Are you tired today? Are you tired? Um. Are you exhausted? Um, like tired? Um. So so. Okay. Perfect. Do you cook? Do you cook dinner every day? I yeah, do you I, cook dinner? I I don't know. Can I? Do you cook? Do you cook like this one? I, I don't like do you cook dinner? Yes, I I don't care. Um No, I cook dinner. No, I don't. Okay. No, no I, I don't. don't. Okay. No, sounds I don't. great. That's not, it's not great, right? Okay. But that's, that's, I respect that. Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Good evening, Leslie. Hello. Hello, Leslie. Leslie, Leslie. Leslie. No. Pero, perdón, Leslie, mi do you cook? Do you cook panes con pollo for Christmas? Oh yes, teacher. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, you can say yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I. Do. Thank you so much. Very good. Anna Marisol, question for you: Do you have salad 
do you have salad for lunch? Um, yes, I do, teacher. Oh, very good, right? So you see, it's like, that's the way you answer these things, right? With yes, I do, or no, I don't. Let's say Dalila. Do you play tennis, Dalila, on Saturday? Dalila, do you play tennis on Saturday? Hello, hello, Dalila. Do you hear me? I don't know. What about you, Andrea Landos? Do you play like tennis on Saturday? Um, yes, I do. Oh, 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 you play tennis on Saturday? That's impressive. That's wonderful. Oh, where do you play that? Where do you play that? In Club de Cleño. Oh, that's very good. Are you good at playing tennis? Are you good? Mm, so, so. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, so we're going to work with exercise B. And in exercise B, vamos a utilizar los object pronouns. Yes? ¿Cuáles son los object pronouns? Sí, ¿cuáles son los object pronouns que vamos a utilizar en el exercise B? Pues son estos que están acá. Estos que están acá van a utilizar en el exercise B. Ok, ahorita se los pongo otra vez. ¿Qué va a hacer usted? Mire, aquí tenemos un context. Para utilizar el object pronoun, yo les comentaba, tiene que tener un context antes en la conversation para utilizarlos. Right? No es que solo los va a utilizar así por así. Right? Tiene que tener un context before that so you can use those things. Si usted se fija, mire, tenemos number one. I don't listen to hip hop music because we really don't like it. Okay? So tengo que tener un, un previous information about it so I can use that. We love your voice. Please sing. These sunglasses are great. Do you like? Who is that man? Do you know? Beth looks great in green. It's a really good color for. Okay. Agregueme, tome la lectura de este espacio, por favor, y este, um, realice el exercise B mientras tomo la attendance one more time. Okay. Uh, sorry. Mientras tomo la attendance one more time. Yes. Ok. Si, si no entendieron esta parte, avisen. Let me know. So I can explain to you. Cuando utilizamos los, los subject pronouns, normalmente siempre cuando hablamos de algo previamente mencionado. You know what I mean? ¿Sí? Para ya no repetir el nombre de eso, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos en la number one, I don't like hip hop. Entonces, si, si quiero seguir hablando de ese hip hop, puedo utilizar un subject pronoun para referirme a ello. ¿Ya? Yeah, y ya no digo otra vez hip hop. You know what I mean? ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, eso es lo que hago con el object pronoun. Entonces, utilizo esos para no repetir otra vez la palabra. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok, I will say the attendance. In the meantime, do this exercise and be ready so you can participate. Okay, let me see. Ok, the Tuesday the 29th. Alison Celaya. Present. Thank you. Ana Marisol Zamora. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Andrea Marisol Represa. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Andrea Landos. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Barbara Cabrera Larín. Barbara? No, I have a student with that name, Barbara. Brenda Castro. Brenda? No? Okay. What about Carolina del Carmen Perez? Hello, Carolina. Present. Thank you so much. Um, Claudia Lopez. Present, Hello. mister. Thank you so much, Claudia. Cristina Monge. Um, Daniela Asensio. Edgar. Present. Thank you, Daniela. Edgar. Ernesto Ventura. Eh, Griselda Moreno. Present. Thank you so much. Um, Griselda Moreno. I'm sorry. Ivania Mendoza. Thank you, Ivania. Um, Jennifer Torres. Jennifer Torres. 
Okay, Jennifer Moss. No, okay, and Jennifer Marroquin. Presente. Jennifer Moss, yes? Mm. I can make you okay. I'm sorry. I have a bunch of numbers. Okay. Thank you so much, Jennifer Moss. And then we're going to have Jennifer Marroquin. No? Okay. Let's continue with Jennifer. Oh, I'm sorry. Better me, better me, better me. Can you make you okay? Okay. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Torres. Jennifer Torres, you're here? No? Jennifer Moss, yes, why? Esta cosa que no me deja. Sorry. Um, Jennifer Marroquín. Uh, Jocelyn Mancia. Karen. Yes, and teacher. Thank you so much. Karen Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Carla Colocho. Laura Molina. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Let's Thank you so much, Laura. Leslie. I'm here, mister. Lisbeth. Martínez de Rodríguez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Lorena del Carmen Hernández. Hernández. Here, teacher. Thank you. Lucía Cepeda. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Méndez. No, Mayra. No. Okay. What about Raúl? You hear right, Raúl? Present. Thank you. Dalila. Um, Ruth del Carmen Chicas. Hello, Ruth. Now today. Hey, Stephanie. Abigail. You told me right, Stephanie. Let me check the chat. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, okay. Thank you so much. Let's check one more time this exercise, which is the last one. In here, we're going to use this uh, object pronouns. Okay, the first one is done already. If you want to participate, raise your hand. Igual, acuérdese, si usted se equivoca, that's no problem. Okay, everybody's learning here. And the idea is you try it, you know what I mean? Try it. Yes, Andrea, thank you, Represa. Number two. Number two, right? Yes. Uh, we love your voice. Please sing for us. Very good. Perfect. Thank you so much. Lorena, number three. The sunglasses are great. Do you like them? Beautiful. Exact. Very good. Right. Yes. Great job. Um, somebody else with number four and number five? I need two more. Two more. Carla Melissa Colocho. Quiero ver. Carla Melissa Colocho. Hi, Carla. Hello. Carla, Carla. Hi, 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 Carla. Are you busy now, Carla? Lucia, Elena. Lucia, what about number four, Lucia? Okay. Number four. Yes. Who is that man? Do you know him? Beautiful. Exactly, that is correct. Do you know him? Right? See, if you notice, right, in all those exercises, siempre tenemos que saber something before that so we can use the object pronoun. Okay, and Claudia Hisel Lopez, Cordoba. Number five is for you, Claudia. Um, Beth looks great in green. It's it's a really good color for me. Okay, thank you so much. Vamos a revisar eso. Okay. ¿De quién estamos hablando aquí, Claudia? Who are we talking about? ¿De quién hablamos? Hablo, hablo de, hablo de... Um, it's a... Uh, he? Okay. No, aquí. no. Um, sorry. It's a she? Is she exactly so the name she very good okay which is bad right she cual sería el el object object pronoun para she uh sería in is oh, no cuando me refiero al object pronoun ahorita se lo voy a poner espérame solo déjeme ver aquí rapidito de todos estos que están aquí de esta lista cuál es para she 
Um, es el him. Okay, el him es para caballero. Him es para caballero. Uh, um, is a here? Hair, very good. Hair, okay. Hair. So we have her, va para she. Entonces, en el exercise que tenemos aquí, tenemos she. Entonces, ¿cuál sería el, el, el que ponemos aquí? Eh, sería her. Um, sería her. Her. Exactly. It looks great in green. It's a really good color for her. Her. Her, very good. Exact. Entonces, tiene que, como le digo, tiene que ir relacionado, ¿vale? Relacionado. Okay. Very good. Yes. El it, ¿en qué, en qué ocasiones ocupa? It. Oh, para places, animals, objects, right? En este caso tenemos music, que sería como un object, hip hop. Por eso tenemos it. ¿Ok? Ok, thank you. My pleasure. People, good night. Take care, practice your English, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.